So you may be thinking about getting into the game, about learning how to be more of a seductive figure, learning the ropes of how to attract a woman. Maybe you want to have more sexual partners, get more experiences before you settle down. Maybe you decide you never want to settle down. Maybe you want to find your ideal girlfriend. Whatever the reason, you're coming to this video right now wondering how long will it take you to get better at the women. Now the answer, honestly, is different for everybody. Some guys I've seen, such as me, take four to six years to getting good at this. And some I've seen get good in the course of a year, sometimes months. Sometimes it's, it's a factor of upbringing. Where did you start? I started from a very low place, from a very far place, from what people will ever believe from me. I also know people that start from a place of having won in different industries, having that groundedness of just self-understanding and self-belief that I can do this because they have so much backing. Then from there, it just takes a couple tweaks. Sometimes I see people who have the social intelligence, but they lack the, the self-belief. Maybe they're being too nice. Maybe you're just too nice. Maybe you're too aggressive and you're not reading social cues. However, there are six major factors that if you can control, if you can understand how to work, you will get better so much faster. Find people above, at, and below you. Find people above, at, and below you. Now, what does this mean? This means that you need to find people below you that you can teach. People that you can regurgitate the, the things that you have already learned and you ingrain them even more deeply. Me making these videos, honestly, for you guys, helps me understand the different lessons that I've learned over the course of years on a deeper level, which means now that I can manipulate it a lot better, that I can understand it and I can make it more a uh, part of myself as opposed to just some tool that I learned about. Now I'm ingraining it. I'm learning it on a deep level. Now, those that are at your level, these are your peers. These are the people that you go out with. These are your friends. You will ask them, how am I messing up in your personal view? Maybe you are going out and you're like, man, I don't want to go out today. And your friend is banging on your door saying, come out, we're hitting it. Don't be a loser. He is pushing you to go out more often. He's, he's also back you up when you don't feel at ease with yourself. Maybe you feel a little bit insecure and your friend goes, quit being a bitch. You're a lot cooler than you think you are. Stop it. And now your self-esteem is going up because your friends are helping you out. Now, those above you, these are the guys that have already walked the path that you're trying to walk. And maybe they've taught other people. Maybe through the fact of them over the course of years working it out, they have a very clear vision of how somebody can get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. These are the people you want to seek out. These are the people you want to get on your side. Now, oftentimes these kind of people, they will be very picky. They'll be very sought after. So maybe you become friends with them and that's how you get close to them. Maybe you give them uh, an exchange of value. Maybe that's how you get them to help you out, to work with you. Maybe you even pay for their services. Maybe buy their boot camp, and these people can help you get to that point that you need to get to. I've actually made so many friends through people buying boot camps for me. A lot of the guys that I actually hang out with, if they're really cool ass guys and I love hanging out with them, I keep inviting them out week after, week after week with me. This is something that I've talked about so much over the course of the four years, five years of me having this YouTube channel, quality and quantity of effort. Are you going out consistently, which is the most important thing about the quantity of effort. It doesn't matter about the time spent necessarily. Yes, it will help. Obviously, half an hour is a lot different than three hours. But the most important thing is consistency of action. Consistency of action. This is <clears throat> deciding, all right, I don't have enough time to go out today. But when I go to the grocery store, I'm going to have the vision of talking to the first cute girl I see. Maybe you just make a friend. Maybe you start joking with the cashier, but you're practicing extroversion. Maybe with your friends and you decide, I'm gonna work on my eye contact. If I don't give my friend eye contact, my friend, I have instructed him to punch me in the arm and give me a dead arm. Every time he, I'm talking to him or he's talking to me without eye contact. This will, in, this will ensure that my eye contact gets better. Maybe I'm practicing breaking rapport. Maybe I'm working on my tonality. All these things, these, these are moving my action and my ego. So the action that I'm taking is changing my narrative of who I think I am. So now I start moving to the role of being this extroverted, charismatic guy. And it gets easier day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. Every year I exponentially get better. And that's because I'm working on the quantity of effort. But that doesn't matter if you're not taking into factor of the quality. Now here's the problem with quantity of effort, well, quality of effort. A lot of you guys are doing 
are going out <clears throat> so much without ever writing down a field report, ever thinking things through. I have whiteboards, I have pen and paper, I have notes on every one of my piece of technology, on all my phones, I have them on all my laptops, all my computers, I have them in my private group, the Next Gen Seduction group. I, I post these things everywhere and anything that I have near me, like <laughs> everything I have near me, I, I have pen and paper in all rooms of my place and this is on purpose. I want, I'm constantly thinking of new ways to improve. I'm working on that quality of effort. Sometimes maybe it's an exercise. Maybe it's my friend punching me in the arm. Maybe it's when I go out, I have tiered goals. Maybe at first I'm like, okay, machine gun approach. And then once that's easy, once the approaching is easy, now I work on this. Now I work on push pull. Maybe I work on offending others. Maybe I work on my bad boy energy. Maybe my CEO energy. Maybe I am <clears throat> realizing that I am not pulling the trigger fast enough or enough. So you start pulling the trigger a lot more. These are huge. You have to have the quality of effort with the quantity of effort or you will ingrain bad habits over the course of years and it'll be even harder actually to get you better faster, which is why a lot of guys actually get stuck. They get stuck in this and they hit plateaus because they didn't work on the quality of effort. They went out so much and all they're doing is cementing their mannerisms and habits until it's incredibly tough to fix them. Yes, there are strategies to fix this kind of issue. And yes, I've worked with so many people with this, but it does make it more difficult. Yes, it does slow you down. So you have to have the quality of effort or you're gonna cement your position in your skill set with women. Which this actually takes me to the next point, having an experimental mind and pushing your comfort zones. So you can't get better at this if you are staying in your safe space or your, your zone of comfort. This is stupid. And I've known so many guys who, I'm gonna go natural game. The reason that most people go natural game is because they hit a plateau, they cemented their place in their skill set. they never worked on the quality of effort. They're like, I can't get any better. And to continue to try to push to get better is only hurting my ego. So this is the best I can get. The rest of it's up to looks. The rest of it's up to some unseeable factor that I will never be able to touch, which is bullshit. All you're doing is you're ingraining, you're, you're doing that which is easy. You're never pushing your comfort zone. And anybody that's gonna push you or tell you that you are stagnating yourself, they will fight you and they'll even get angry. They get egotistical, they get narcissistic about their place. And then it's impossible to fix their problems. Because like, no, you're wrong, I'm right. Even if the other person has all the proof in the world, they will never take that next step. They'll actually get them the results that they need. It's ridiculous. If you're not taking on this, this mindset, this belief, of having this experimental mind, this childlike mind, you, you're not gonna improve. And it's really depressing for me to say this because I want everybody that watches this channel to improve and get better. I want this to become an easy path, understandable path. And most of you guys, you guys aren't taking that. You guys aren't taking the, the, the problems. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Now, when it comes to getting good with, with women and becoming more seductive as an individual, when it comes to becoming more charismatic, it's similar to hitting the gym. So if you hit the gym and you get big muscles, you hit it pretty consistently for a while, what happens? If you were to stop working out, let's say you take a year off and then you come back to the gym again, is it gonna take the same amount of time for you to build the muscle again or does it come back faster? In the same way, there's almost a muscle memory to game. When you take time off and you come back to it, you'll come back to the same level of game a lot faster than you did before. Because you're following the same path that you've taken so many times before. And so it's easier for you to get there. You also have an old memory of the person you used to be when you used to game. And you just like chase that, that memory. Pushing past that, that version of you though, I'll say this, is a lot tougher. It's hard to push past that old version of you, oftentimes. Because now you have to learn new habits and new tricks, new mindsets. You have to change to a, person, a version of yourself that you've never been before. And that takes a lot of mental work. That takes a lot of, that takes a strong ability to visualize and to create something intangible and create it tangible. It takes a visionary mind. So it's, this is something that, that honestly just takes a lot of practice. But over time, you'll be able to push past and past more goals. But as you tread new ground and you make a path, it'll get easier to get that point next time. You want to go through the same effort. But if you do take time off, just understand this, a lot of it, again, coming back to the consistency, it's 
It's hitting the gym consistently every week. It's keeping the action to feed the ego. It's building macro momentum over time. The macro momentum is what pushes you past old barriers. If you're coming back in the game and you're frustrated by the fact that you aren't where you used to be, you'll get there a lot faster. It's just about consistent action. If you wanna get better, consistent action, quality of effort. The last point is imitate those you wanna be like, but not necessarily what they say. Imitate what they do. If you wanna see somebody that has the results you want, don't listen to necessarily what they say unless they're very self-conscious and even then be wary of this. But watch what they do. Watch the way that, watch all the actions that lead to the results that you want. Write them down and maybe even look at a bunch of different people that have what you want. Now, what are they all doing the same? And I mean doing the same, not saying the same, but doing the same. Now, understanding this, if they're, whatever they're all doing the same, these are gonna be the fundamentals of what you wanna learn. You wanna learn how to do this? Keep looking at everybody, not just me, look at everybody. Look at all these different people and pull from each of them, what are they doing to get the results that I want? I pull from Matthew McConaughey, I pull from Hank Moody, and I pull out the fundamentals. And by doing this, I can now look at what they're all doing the same and imitate it and take what they have. Steal relentlessly. This is gonna get you get better so much faster. I mean, you also get a boot camp if you want. If you don't too, I still want you to improve regardless. This is on you. You now have the factors that are gonna get you better a lot faster. Oftentimes, this can take some time. This can take sometimes years. But if you use these factors, you'll get better so much faster. With that being said, peace. Yeah, bitch, I got some